All right, this is a, just going to be a quick video here in case everyone, anyone ever needs it. On the Planar, it's the Clarity MX46 HD. All right, so when you come in here and turn them on, if you notice, you see A1, A2, A3, and A4. So this is a 2x2 two two setup. If you had 3x3, three three, obviously it'd go A5 and A6. Alright, so right now we only have three cable box uh, hooked up. It's a four input uh, processor. But basically, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, the different modes because this would be like source 5. Um, if you come here and go, that'd be source 1. Source two, three, which is nothing right now, and then four, and then all, all individuals. When you come in here to set it up, when you go in here and hit menu, you notice the A1, and it's addressing A1, and this is 1-1. One, one. So it starts at the top left, and goes to the top right. This is A2, addressing A1 because that's where the menu is. And this is 2-1. Uh, column 2, row 1. So A3, this is 1-2. Column 1, row 2. And then 2-2. Two, two. Column 2, row 2. So when you come in here, go to a wall config. You want to first go to matrix layout. Save you a lot of waste of time if you don't do this first. It took me a while to learn. So you come in here and then you do an auto layout and that will identify your four screens before every one of these were full with a number and a letter. So you do the auto and that helps you track down your screens. All right, so now if you want to save a source input, basically you go to, you need to basically set this all up and then you save it. So right now this is saved as an input number five, but just to show you, you go into a menu, go into wall config, and then like my source one which is going to be full screen and first input with first cable box so I go to big picture setup and then what you would want to do is turn on wall mode so if, you, if I turn it on right now you'll see how you lost some of the picture because it thinks it's part of the the big wall so I'm going to turn that back off but here you need to set wall width, you got two, wall height two, unit column, this unit that you're dealing with, so this is column one, row one. Alright, so if I wanted to set this as a big picture, I'd go to I'd turn on the wall mode, and then if you notice the red around and the green around the one, A1, up at the top here you have a couple little arrows so if you push to the right now that comes over to here now we got our menu on this one and it's saying it's addressing A2 so at A2 now I set this up I turn wall mode on this is column 2 row 1 we're still at the 2 by 2 and so you set it up your input to that and then we'd have our top two screens that would be matching so and then you'd push the arrow again go down to A3 set it up A4 set it up so then we'd have one big picture and then that's where you would go into memory alright so say this is where I wanted to set it up now I'm going to go back into menu 
and you go down to memory and then you want to go to save because I want to save this configuration here and then you would just select which input you want it to be so this is my cable box 4 full picture so this one technically is my input 4 when they're all separate different screens that's input 5 so since I have five sources saved now if I just hit the source button this is cable box 1 cable box 2 cable box 3 cable box 4 and then last source input gives you four different screens Hopefully that helps because uh, it took me a little while and a couple calls to tech support. So, there you go. These uh, LCDs have a uh, thing that they call service mode. So you can basically lift it up. Each, each one of these panels lift up and out a little bit and it'll hook in there. Um, and then the, the, the bottom flips out and there's like some little kickstands um, that hold the bottom out so if you needed to get to the bottom ones you got to pop out the top ones then you can get the bottom ones into service mode um, and then I was originally I was having problems because this was just saying um, one one or one two uh, I think it was one two when it was in service mode um, well it's not until you put them all together on the wall that they actually go through and ID themselves. Um, the A, the A numbers, that's just coming out of the, the module over in the closet. So that depends which cord is plugged in. But the way the panels are sit, um, they won't identify each other unless they're all together. They have the little sensors or whatever on the side that, um, can tell that there's another panel next to it. So if you're in service mode, your addresses are going to be off. <laughs>